Just like flowers, we humans are fully capable of producing volatile organic compounds. Hey there, flowering buds. Jules here for DNews. As you know, plants are usually anchored to the ground and can't go anywhere. But somehow, despite their relative immobility, plants are actually surprisingly good at staying alive and defending themselves. A recent study in the journal Functional Ecology found that certain plants, when damaged, will emit a chemical that wards off insects. When neighboring plants sense the chemical, they too begin to excrete it, creating a little smelly, defensive plant pocket. The excretions are called volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. Although you may think of the word volatile as having a negative connotation, the word actually means that the chemicals being secreted are able to quickly evaporate and enter the air. And plants use VOCs to fulfill a lot of functions. Sweet-smelling VOCs are used to attract pollinators, which is why some flowers give off a pleasant scent. Roses release volatile organic compounds like rose oxide, damascenone, and ionone, which we associate with the smell of roses. And when it comes to defense, plants have a few smelly tricks up their sleeve. The VOC 3-pentanol, for example, is an insect pheromone and can be produced by broccoli, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. When these plants become infested with very hungry caterpillars, they give off 3-pentanol, which attracts several insects, including what's called the kissing bug, an insect that sucks the blood of caterpillars. Instead of having to fight their own battles, these plants simply summon swarms of bugs to take over for them. Those bugs get big juicy caterpillars to feast on, while the plants are left to recover and rebuild, sparing any neighboring plants as well. Wow, way to make others fight battles for you, plants. This natural defense system is also used by farmers to protect their crops. Some pesticides are based on synthetically derived chemicals that are the same as or mimic the chemicals produced by plants with strong defense systems. But chemicals aren't the only way plants can fight back. If you've ever reached for a rose and been stabbed by its thorns, you've stumbled onto another defensive technique. Many plants have thorns, spines, prickles, barbs, or any other name for hard, sharp, protruding parts. Their primary purpose is to prevent herbivores from chowing down, as the spiky defense mechanism can hurt the predator, telling them to stay away and find food elsewhere. So while plants may not have wings or legs or really any way to escape pests, they found ways to fight them with other defense mechanisms. All plants really want is to be left alone. So that covers animals eating plants, but what about animal eating plants? Yeah, there are certain types of plants that can eat animals, from insects to small rodents. I know, that sounds crazy, right? Find out more in this video right here. And what's the most dangerous plant, in your opinion? Let us know down below in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos of DNews every day.